Hi everyone, uh, I've been asked to do a quick tutorial on how to get Microsoft Word to uh, check your grammar. This is uh, using uh, Word 2010. I'll have another video up on how to use it with uh, Word 2007. Uh, and this is on a Windows 7 machine. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to a file and you want to go down here to options. Once you select options, go to proofing. And you can see down here it's set to like grammar only. That's usually what it's set for because it's only going really for office documents. So once you go to uh, here, we want to change it to grammar and style. And then go to settings. And that's going to open this whole other window out here. One of the things you're going to want to do is change this comma required after the last list item, sometimes known as the Oxford comma. You're going to change that to always for your preference. Punctuation without, what required with quotes, it's going to be inside. And spaces required between sentences, it can select between one or two. I guess the preference now between uh, in publishing circles is going to one. Um, but if it's two, it's not a deal breaker. Under grammar, you can select all these different options here, as you can see. And some of these you don't want to check, like fragments and run-ons. Obviously, for uh, dialogue in fiction, you're going to have a lot of sentence fragments, so you don't want it to flag those. Um, It'll check for cliches. You don't want to do contractions. Again, in fiction, you're going to have contractions. Gender-specific words, I, I don't have that set, but you could have that set. Um, the big one here is it will check passive voice for you. Um, and then I ha also have turned off sentences that begin with and button, hopefully. But you could turn that on. That's just stylistic choice. And, of course, use the first person. In, uh, in fiction, obviously, that's going to be really used quite a bit but the passive voice part is great and once again you know don't put your complete trust in your grammar checker uh, it's like a spell checker it can make mistakes but it will flag a lot of these problems and uh, cut down a lot of times on your revision and that's it for uh, 2010